everybody. Welcome to Sober Healing. So Zuzu and I are here, um, and I have a story to tell you that kind of changed me, okay? Uh, two nights ago, I had an event where, I, at the time I didn't know what they were, but I have researched it since, flying ants swarmed my whole outside glassed-in area out here from the outside. So basically, Zuzu caught one inside and then I started looking around and turned the lights on and I saw that at 11 o'clock at night, there was a swarm of them out here, so thick that you couldn't see through the doors. It was horrible, okay? It was like a horror movie. I'm standing there and this, it was just, it was a massive amount of insects and you're just like, what? <laughs> I never seen anything like that in 30 years here and I, I just couldn't believe it. So I was in shock for a few minutes and I sat down and I said, well, you know, I don't use chemicals. What do I do about this? How do I deter them? So I went and I got um, the dimitaceous earth, which is ground shells. It's very good for getting rid of insects. It's called food grade dimitaceous earth. Okay. You can get it in any kind of you know, like Walmarts and tractor supplies and things like that, okay? So I put it all around the baseboard. Um, I came back in and I did get the mask for my nose so I wouldn't inhale this fine, it's a fine powder. And also eyewear I put on. So I went and just threw my hands in there and just threw it on the door. So the door was full of dimitaceous earth and that, they started dropping and I just came inside, took a shower and went to bed. I went out there and I had made a solution ready for them last night, okay? The solution was some dish soap, warm water, and three essential oils that flying ants do not like. They do not like peppermint, they do not like lavender, and they do not like tea tree oil. All three of those, I put five or six drops in of each one shook it in this big container and when dark came guess what they started coming out i figured out where they were i shot that thing maybe 10 times came in went back out an hour later did 10 times more and all of those big glob of them there was like probably 30 of them all together started dropping and then i went out an hour later and nothing was going on and then tonight i'm gonna go shoot it with all my non-chemical substance. Okay, so last night I was sitting around and I said, you know, I wonder what God was really trying to tell me. So I looked up the spiritual meaning of flying ants and here it is. It is that you're ready for a change, but you're not quite sure what that change is. Flying ants are a sign that you should be open to new ideas and be willing to try new things that may be outside your comfort zone. One of my videos a while back was on how I was ready for change. I was like, God, where are you? You know, that kind of thing. And the next thing I knew, here comes Zuzu out of the woods screaming and crying. So that was outside of my comfort zone. I can tell you that. It represents the ability to overcome any obstacles and reach any goals with ease and grace. And a swarm of them also means luck is coming your way with an abundance of opportunities in all areas. So basically what I got from that is that if you see the kind of flying ants that I saw, it's definitely about being open to new opportunities and growth. Be strong and God will get you through things with ease and grace and believe in God enough to know that he has a plan, okay? I don't care what kind of person out there is trying to delay you, change your life, you know, rule the show. Manipulative people do not win. I don't care what they think. They're not going to win. Okay? God wins. God's the Almighty. People are not. I don't think people that really think they're in control think that God can control them. Okay? They, need, they, they have to learn their lessons, okay? They have to be able to understand that everybody has their own blessings. They have their own life that God has, has planned for them, okay? 
why don't they just go out and look for what they could be good at? What God has in store for them? And do something positive instead of trying to ruin someone else's life. You know, the flying ants is a big one for me because I like to be in my comfort zone. Sometimes we do have to take risks. I am not a risky person. I am going to go ahead and listen to God this time. I'm going to go out there and if there's opportunities, I'm going to I'm going to ask him, is this what he wants? You know, show me the way and lead me through it, okay? So anyway, you guys, I hope you got something out of this. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take a big breath. Oh, I just got a nice crack. That always feels so good. And take it one step at a time, okay, you guys?